Hey folks, Carter here. Gonna just gonna do a quick video on how to install some ambient lights to your server in case you want them for the traders or light up your traders at night time. I'm also gonna use them on the next video for uh, the next next installation. So first thing you want to do is ever go to your server, and make sure it's turned off. I'm gonna do this on GTX because it's far quicker rather than Nitrado and having to do all the rigmarole of using an FTP program. So first thing we want to do, shut the server down, go to our Steam Workshop. I want to find the Ambient Light mod. Pretty sure that's the way it's spelled. There we go. So we want to install the mod. It's very slow. We just need to add some types files in order add add the types for them in order for them to spawn in the world. There we go. It should be installed. We go to make sure. The only thing now we want to do, I want to put the trader after the ambient light. So I can uninstall it and do it now. Just uninstall the trader and reinstall it. And GTX will automatically put it at the end of the mod command line. Or I could have done it manually. Very slow, so it is there. We just reinstall the trailer mod so it's on the end of the mod command line. Equally, we could have done this manually either. I'll show you where now. That's the mod install. We could have went to the configuration files, down to our workshop mods, into the text editor, and there's the list of mods, so the trader would be the last mod ID now, because it's the last one that we installed, but prior to that, until we uninstalled it and reinstalled it, it would have been the second last, so we simply could have copied that, removed it. And then place that on the end of the mod command line, making sure to keep the semicolon between them. And then save it, and it would have done it manually, but GTX is very quick for loading up the mod, especially Trader mod and things like that. It's not much in the difference, it's the lazy route. But anyway, once you get them installed, installed you have the mod installed, you want to go to your file manager then. Want to go to your multiplayer missions, pick your mission file that you're playing on, which should be Chinaris because most people are playing on Chinaris. You want to, oh, I messed that up a bit. We want to go to our DB folder, a little lost in my mind there. Want to go to our types. Uh, I have a file here already made. I'll leave, I'll leave a copy of this file. We want to copy this file then. It's types I made for the ambient lights. Copy that. Back to our server, open up our types file, we can edit it here now in GTX, it's very slow because I'm recording I think, on my internet, 
we go right to the bottom last type on the command we'll hit enter and then back it up to the start of the page and we paste our new types in there so making sure to keep your file n command for the slash types to end the file everything's lining up pretty we save that That's our types in for our ambient, ambient lights. We'll go back to our server. You just want to start in there. That should be the ambient lights installed. We'll jump in quickly and just show them on my test server here. If you were going to do it on Nitrado after you do the install, you'd have to go to General, add the mod manually to the mod command line like so, at the end, including the semicolon at the end, as Nitrado prefer that. Also remember to make sure that you put the key in. I'm still there. sure to move the key into your keys folder and make sure you get the mod command line very important make sure the semicolons are correct now if you're going to go down and add it to your server your types, same again, down the multiplayer missions, pick your mission file which would be Chinaris but this, this server ha has a Namansk on it, down the mission, db folder as usual, types, just add them to your types, exact same process just slightly different with the naming of the files and the folders. There you go, that would be it installed. So once you get it installed, you want to join your server. And test them out, but you'd still have to place the ambient lights in some kind of tool, like admin tool, or, or else with community offline mode, or VPN, I believe, does it as well. We'll just jump in quickly and just show you what they look like. You'd still have to add them to the world then using one of the other tools. Alright. Let's see where I already spawned at the traders. If they render in. Um, Recording on two different programs and playing the game, so might be a little slow. Here we go, we'll spawn some in. There we go, you got those are like you could put them up as fixed position lights that cover a wide area or they chem lights which cover a smaller area well, I think they cause less less performance drops using the chem lights draw a couple of them down oh we'll make it night time as you see you can place them in the traders if you want to light up the area a bit for you at night time. Show you what, we, what I mean. Nice little touch. 
you just wouldn't want to go too crazy with them and, and spawn loads of them in a small area or you cause a lot of performance drops. As you see, add a nice little touch. There's different colours there. I quite like them to myself, they add a nice little touch to the trailers. But anyway, that's how you install the ambient lights mod, folks. I hope that's helpful. It helps some of you light up the traders at night time and that. Adds a nice touch, but like I said, just don't go crazy with them. Lay them very, very sparingly. <laughs> but as ever, thanks for watching. I hope this video is helpful. Take care, all.